Hello guys, good evening. Welcome. Can you listen to me, Evelyn and Hinaro? Yes, I can see you well. Great. Thank you so much for answering. Nato, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Great to hear that. Okay, uh, welcome, guys, to our session. This is session number three. Basically, uh, we have started our class, and then we are going to go over, let me see, our session number uh, three. Give me a sec. Okay, trying to, I can see more people are just joining in. Well, thank you so much for joining in. Okay, so how was your day? Tell me, what do you do? Any plans you have? Um, how was school? How was work? How was university? How was business or how is business, Melissa? Hi, teacher. Making money, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay how are you i'm doing really good it's ready for this session and you how are you doing mm, i am tired why is that too much work to do mm -hmm. yes i i went to my work mm -hmm. all day and also i i was working in my in my entrepreneurship on business, making money. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see that's why. But it's good, I imagine, right? And it's not easy, but then when you um, dedicate your time to do what you love doing, uh, it pays off. So welcome, guys, Melissa, Evelyn, Jose, Peña, Francisco, Jeffrey, Reina, William, and Genaro. Okay, yesterday we talked about some, um, well, we talked about two things. One, which was about relative closings, and second, about some specific adjectives to describe personality, right? That was yesterday's topic, and I assigned a homework, really quick one, for you to describe yourself using the words we I provided you from the video, right? And I would like to know if you guys um, did that. Did you guys complete or try to brainstorm some ideas? Because I would love to start listening to your ideas from this. Um, well, let me see. Give me just a second while I share the screen. Here I go. One second. Boom. This is session number three. Okay. Same topic. That's what friends are for. And well, first activity is the one that I has talked to you about. So let's have these small talks. And I say here that is for one minute, but you can talk for more or less, but no less than 30 seconds. So who wants to start talking about you? Or let's do something. Let's, let's remember those adjectives that we said yesterday that we practiced. I remember that some of you have read the definitions. So what are those? Which ones do you like most? Or which one is not something that you, you feel identified with? So let's do something. Send me these adjectives on the chat, or maybe you can open your mic to, to just you know, say them. Or maybe you say, no, these adjectives are not for me. I got my own one. So what are those adjectives you can tell? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm just waiting for your participation, guys. Tell me. Emma, yeah, tell us. I want to be the first one. Uh -huh. Oh, you want to be ready for that. All right, let's go. Let's do it yes. then. Uh -huh. Okay, well, let's see. Well, I like to know people, but it's a little hard for me because I'm shy and I don't use to talk a lot with others. I think that everyone has a different way to see the world and I like to learn about it, but I can't. That's why I don't consider myself sociable, but I'm friendly. Moreover, I'm not easy going at all because I'm getting mad so fast. For the other hand, I'm modest. I really like to help people and don't say what I do. 
it's better for me to do good things like a secret that just now the another person and I and I'm not egoistical either stingy. I'm a person who loves to help others and have a quiet life. Interesting. Interesting, my dear friend Emma. Great definition, great description. And for real, you know, you are a person who um, I would say it's very friendly. And as you said it, you like helping mothers. And what I love the most is that you don't help and then you, you shout it, right? Hey, this is what I did. And, you know, like maybe posting on social network and stuff like that. So that's really cool. That's, uh, you know, being very uh, assertive and wise when making those actions. So, because blessing comes from, you know, other sources sometimes well thank you for sharing good definition good description okay so who else wants to participate and thank you so much for for being so um you know kind when participating you know and not being afraid to share about you i think reina is ready okay reina go ahead please try to use the adjective if it is possible mm -hmm. okay uh, I could describe myself like a sociable person because I don't have problems when I'm with people that are in my friends. And I enjoy to know about the other ones. Also, I consider myself like a supportive person. I try to do my best supporting my family and friends. But always telling the truth because, to be honest, it's an important thing in whatever relationship. And I used to be a temperamental person and probably I used to be but I'm working in because sometimes it's difficult to feel that you can control yourself. Mm -hmm. Right, um, I'm glad and I like to hear that. Yeah, the thing is that working with our emotions, our reactions, our, our you know, you know, behavior, sometimes is a challenge. I know, especially when you're not in the mood and you feel like as if you want to, just give up or don't talk to anybody. That, you know, life, life has ups and downs. And thank you so much for sharing about you, okay? You are an interesting person, Reina. Who's the next one? We are 12 connected. So who wants to go next? This, this is a really good exercise. You can like self-evaluate yourself when doing this. We are 13. Joel, go ahead, please. Hi, teacher. Um, I consider myself as an easygoing person, a committed one, a loyal and honest, straight to talk when needed to. Also, depending on the situation, I can be quiet and very peaceful. People always tell me that I'm always in a good mood. Nice. You are this person who transmits energy to other positivism. All right. Sometimes, you know, uh, when you smile and you uh, maybe, this is very contagious, you uh, transmit this energy to other people. That's why people love spending time with you or with anybody who's like this. All right. Really good. Uh, Melissa, you're next, please. Uh, okay. I am sociable person because I consider me very friendly and very kind. I always want to help to the another person and I enjoy talk with, with my friend and coworker. And also I try to make new friends always. I can't be quiet with my friend or my coworker in my house or in another place. Okay, so you are the one who's always making jokes, playing around, okay, small talks, okay. Nice, nice to hear that, really good. Anybody else, uh, 13 people connected who wants to participate and share? Thank you, sir. All right, thank you so much, Evelyn, go ahead. Okay, I think that the adjective that can describe me is supportive because I always like to be there 
when someone needs my help, trying to provide emotional help or trying to listen, uh, I think that the attitude that doesn't, uh, that I don't feel they can identify to is unreliable because if I say that I will do something or from or my something, I try my best to do it. And I think that I can be a, a egotistical person too. So that, that's the attitude. I don't feel egotistical. I think those are the adjectives that best describe you as a person. Okay, thank you so much, Evelyn. Okay, I have a chance for one more who wants to uh, participate or volunteer. There are some of you who have the camera off. Maybe you're just chilling, you know, relaxing, laying down on your couch, and then just taking a, you know, a relaxing time. Maybe not the best relaxing time listening to your teacher speaking. <laughs> It's okay. I mean, if you have your camera off, I don't know what you're doing. I mean, you might be just, you know, having a good time on your own. Maybe you have, I don't know. But if you have problems with your camera, it's understandable. So maybe you want to participate. Anybody else? One more to see if you're really here or maybe you just, you know, connected and you're not here. Reina already participated, right? Gustavo, Jose, Wendy, Francisco, Daniel, and then William, I think, Genaro. All right, I see. Let's let's move on. Jose, I think you wanted to say something. I don't know. Yes, I would like to try to describe myself. Awesome. Go ahead. Yesterday I couldn't be in the class, so I am a little lost about what you're doing, but I suppose I can describe myself. Okay. In my case, I consider myself like an introverted person. I don't really like to talk too much, and I prefer to listen what people have to say. Uh, because in most of the time, people need to be listening, but we most of the time don't pay attention to other people in order to help them. So I had learned that we must to learn how to listen to people and give a chance to express what they want to say and something like that I suppose I am interesting interesting quick question if you don't mind sharing of course uh, what's your uh, I mean what do you do what's your what? occupation what's your <laughs> occupation what's your profession <laughs> of course if you don't mind sharing I am an accountant Okay, I thought you were a psychologist. I don't know why I had that impression. Because based no. on what based on what you said, okay, it's interesting to listen to a person in that position, you know, uh, because sometimes we want to speak, we want to be the center of a, of the attention, you know. But your case is like you rather listen to and um, observe, and then if, if necessary, speak. Or you rather listen to other? I think yeah. that's something yeah, that I, something like that. Something that I have to do on my. I think I speak too much. Something that I speak more than what I should, and I get into trouble. But <laughs> thank you for reminding me about this. And I don't know if the guys that are here is the same thing, but you know, thank you. I personally like your opinion. Um, okay, see, this is what we're talking. Um, we're talking about these nine adjectives that describe personality. Is it going? I like this one. Is it going? If you like making friends, you're easy going person. And then uh, egotistical. And then I don't like this one. And I don't know. I don't think I am like that. But then, and then we have inflexible motives, um, sociable, stingy. You know, you don't like spending money like you keep it and then, or you don't like sharing what you have and supportive. This is a really good one. Temperamental, which is, um, you know, someone who is really unpredictable, you know, unstable, you know, and unreliable. This is really, I don't know, just, I would say um, sad, 
depressing. I don't know if something is unreliable. If nobody, you know, uh, trusts you. Well, that's really, really bad. So basically, that was the homework to use some of these adjectives to describe your personality. Uh, now that we are 14, because I would love to hear more people speaking, but I don't want to force anybody on this. Is there anyone else? Me coach. Mm -hmm. All right, please go ahead. Okay, I consider myself uh, that I am, I am friendly. I try to be loyal with my friends and family. Uh, I like to share my time with my friends and I consider enthusiasm. Um, I consider passion and hard worker in my work and in my studies because it's, it's very important, this characteristic for me. Okay, everything you do, you do it with passion. Nice, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad uh, to hear uh, there are people like you mm, because the, sometimes, you know, we simply maybe um, give up on what we're doing because of the routine. But then when we find someone like you who is always trying to give their best, you know, on their on everything they do, it's just awesome. So thank you so much for sharing. We are going to move on, guys, and let's, let's get started with this session. And you did this already. And this is something that, it, that was on the platform. And I would like you to think, maybe not writing it because it will take too much time for our session, but maybe we can start improvising a, a brief description about our friend. And I'm gonna give you two minutes for you to think about one of your friends. Maybe it's not your best friend because it's not easy to say he or she is my best friend, but then choose, you know, the one that you can give an opinion about, okay? And write about him or her. This is the example. My best friend is someone who is sensitive about my feelings, you know? She's, she's a person who is very supportive and always listens to my problems. This is the example based on the platform. Now, create your own one, please. Use the adjective as well. And if it's possible, use the relative clauses that we've been kind of like talking about, like who, that, which if it is possible. And use the adjectives, for example, we have sensitive, supportive, and some others in here. So take two minutes, and then we are gonna start sharing with others here. Or if you already have it, just give me two minutes for the ones who haven't done it yet, okay? Okay, let's take one more minute. Or when you finish with your ideas, please say I finished on the chat. I will really appreciate that. So we don't, uh, so I don't give you more time than, than the one I should.
Okay, I can see one message in here. Thank you so much, William, for confirming. I appreciate that. That's the attitude. Thank you so much. I'm going to give you one more minute for those who haven't finished so we can start sharing, okay? Think about, if you don't want to talk about a friend, talk about your ex. Say really bad things, you know. She's like this, then she or he's like that. Maybe that's interesting, or maybe you don't even want to recall this. Okay, we have William and Dana, only that, okay? And we are 15 connected, come on. So please send your messages here to confirm. Give you one more minute. All right, I see more people confirming that you have finished. All right, that's really good. So, Joel, thank you so much for confirming. And then, um, let's see, Melissa, and I think there are five people. So, third part is finished. I think the rest is still working. I'll give you one more minute. Evelyn and Jeffer. Okay, good. Now, it's time for us to share. And listen, I would love everybody to do it. Thank you, Emma, for confirming. Because this is a really good exercise. And think about how you can use the adjective and the clauses. Who, that, this is what we've been talking. Now, uh, I'm going to give you maybe two minutes. And let's share in pairs. If your partner is not in the chat, please come back to the main session. I'm going to be here so you can, you know, share it with me. Because sometimes there are people connected, but they just connect just because. And that, but then, um, so please, guys, share it with a partner. Uh, you have uh, two minutes. And then if you have no partner in the room, come back. I'm going to be here in the main session. Here we go. Share your ideas. Hold on. I think, I don't know. I think, okay. We are... Okay, still. Boom, here we go.
you so much for returning, uh, Joel, Danielle, and Emma. Please, uh, now it's time for you to uh, try to remember your partner's ideas and then to see if you pay attention to them and now you want to share what they say. For example, if, um, if you remember what Emma said, for example, what were those specific words she mentioned about this person and you can share it with the class. Okay, let's not talk about your um, friend. This time I want you to paraphrase your partner's idea. So who wants to do it? Thank you so much, Shepard. So what do you remember from your partner? Did you have a partner on the room? Who do you talk um, to? My, no. My partner were Gustavo and Evelyn. And Gustavo says that uh, his boyfriend is a person supportive and responsible. And Evelyn says that her best friend is like her sister and loves help other people. Nice. Okay. Um, that's awesome. Healthy mother, right? So that's, that was Evelyn's case, right? Okay. So let's see, Melissa, who do you talk to and what do you remember from their um, ideas? I talk with William and Jessica, uh, but I don't remember. <laughs> I like your sincerity. <laughs> okay, try to remember at least something. Um, I don't know, something must be there. Try to uh, remember what they say, positive or negative about these people. About positive. These people. positive things, okay? So what? Uh, or talk talk about you, man. Let's talk about your friend, because I want you to speak. That's the point. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, my friend, um, my best friend is amazing and intelligent. She is very patient and responsible. She is a person who is friendly and always is happy. She gives me advice always that I have problems. And I, I uh, consider you the best person for me. I see. I imagine so, someone who's patient, someone who gives uh, pieces of advice. Oh, really, you know, good friend, right? Sometimes when you are a good friend, you have to give, you know, advice in sessions <laughs> to other because if you don't do that it's like as, <laughs> as, as if you don't care right but then if you really care about someone you want to uh, take the time and say you know stuff as they as they are they sound i mean sometimes they like it sometimes they don't like it but the truth is the truth so i see your point thank you so much for sharing anybody else maybe gustavo i would like to hear maybe your ideas your partner's ideas william so what was what what happened william William. Okay, I think William just scared me. So Gustavo, go ahead. Uh, teacher. Uh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead, please, Gustavo. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, my Partners were a uh, young person and Evelyn. And about Evelyn, uh, Jefferson already said uh, he, her best friend is like her sister. And Jefferson said her best friend is very supportive and he mentioned about his he is more sociable than his best friend
So Jeffrey is more sociable than his best friend. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, you, I, that, I, that is uh, that I hear. But you remember? Ah, okay. Yeah, I remember. Ah, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm right. right. I'm right, Jefferson. Yes, it is right. Okay. Ah, so maybe Jefferson talked first. When yes, they, first... they say, he said that, that he took peers at in high school, I think. They say they, that. Yes, in high school. High school. Guys, do you still have friends from high school? Yes, my best friend. I met her since I have five years. And she is my best friend. So when you were five years or five years ago? No, when I, we were five years. Oh, that's, I don't know how old you are, but it, it might be <laughs> maybe very, <laughs> maybe a few years. Okay. My best friend, I don't have best friends, you see. I don't know, maybe just Jesus is my best friend. He's always there. Great teacher. Uh, Great you don't have a, have don't, a friend. Pe pe people don't like me because I'm really, I don't know, weird. I'm the weirdo. <laughs> well, well no, I'm exactly, you know. Uh, no, the thing is that my best friend, um, since he got engaged because he, he didn't marry this lady, he doesn't have time. He's always busy. And me, yeah, that is, that right, it happens this. When you have responsibilities, maybe children, bills to pay, <laughs> then that is another, another matter, another topic. Well, Anybody else, guys? Anybody else? Please share and try to use these structures that we have said. Uh, who have, and then if you can include the adjectives, that'll be awesome. That's the main point of this session. And then, yeah, Jeffrey, I'm crying. <laughs> All right. So, anybody else? Come on. I mean, talk. You don't want to talk? Why? Let's see. Enaro, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't heard anything for you guys. Enaro. Me, teacher. Okay, Daniel, go ahead. Okay, my best friend, who is uh, who is so fan, so fan um, of the soccer game, invite me to watch, invite me to watch the Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Of course, want Real Madrid. Sí. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then what okay. happened? You, but you were uh, supporting Real Madrid. I mean, both of you were supporting Real Madrid or only you? Real Madrid, well, and uh, the, the game, the soccer game, eh, well, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Fue ganado? ¿Ganó? ¿Lo ganó? ¿Won? ¿Won? Uh -huh. ¿Won de Real Madrid? Real Madrid, ¿Won? ¿no? Uh -huh. ¿Is better than Barcelona? <laughs> ok, all right, yeah. I'm not, I actually, I mean, when I was teenager, like, kind of like, more than 15 years ago. And then um, I used to support Real Madrid, but now I don't have time. No more, <laughs> no more time for those things. Okay, um, I'd rather read a book you know, than watching those type of things. Uh, but I will, uh, but I go to, you know, to see soccer much, but I don't really get, you know, get into those things too that much. Aha, uh -huh. anybody else? Daniel, anything else you want to say? Okay. Um, my best friend is someone who's having days on the directs uh, me to make a good decision. I look, I like to to be from. Let's go, Real Madrid, Daniel Delgado. Let's go. Ah, oh, yes. okay, so you see, good, good, good. Real Madrid is on fire in this group. 
que allá hay <risa> support la, la selectita playera y uno de los cangrejitos. That's me. Mm -hmm. I can see people here supporting other other countries teams. Okay. We, hey, uh, I don't not into I'm, I'm not into those games, guys. But um, I, I I just knew that the Barcelona had a drop drop what really like big because of uh, after they I think lost Messi dismissed after Messi quit and. <laughs> So, but I don't know much about it. Well, uh, thank you so much to those who already shared. Uh, I'm going to share with you now some uh, examples from yesterday's structure, just to go over, you know, some of them. And I need volunteers to read and to understand a little bit better how these clauses work. Here we go. And this is the first one. Jeffer, read the first one, please. Here we go. Only the number one, please. I am looking for a secretary who or that can use a computer well. Thank you so much. You have who or that, right? Either or to use. This is a relative clauses to sentences link into one sentence by a relative pronoun. In this case, as a subject, because we don't have a subject uh, before the main verb. Simple as that. Let's see, uh, Daniel, now is your turn. Read number two, another relative clause sentence. For me? Yes, please. Okay. She has a, a son who does is a doctor. Okay, we have these other sentence. Thank you so much. Let's continue reading. Uh, Gustavo, please, number three. This is for you. Read it. We bought a house which or that is 200 years old. Thank you so much, Gustavo. We have two options. And uh, which is more specific and can also be used in this scenario if you would like to use it. It's totally fine. I um, The only difference is that this is very specific. This is the house and there's any, there isn't any other, right? Um, more specific than that. So next one, uh, let's see, we have more people here connected, Melissa, and then Joel. Now Melissa, number four. Okay, I sent a letter which or that arrived three week, weeks later. Thank you so much. We have the two options. Now, Joel, please. All right. Um, the people who live in the island are very friendly or the people that live in the island are very friendly. Thank you so much. I like how you read it. Very good. Uh, we have this one, the very friendly. And now I want to hear Evelyn, number six, and then Emma, number seven. The man who or that one is my brother. Emma? How do you say that in the part of the money? Oh, this is euro, 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 euro. Okay. Yeah, euro. The camera which cost one hundred euro is over there. Good. Thank you so much. This is euro is more than dollars, right? It's just another currency. Okay, and last but not the least, Jose, read it please, number eight. Okay, the house which belongs to you like is in London. The Good. The house that belongs to you like is in London. Thank you so much, sorry for the interruption. I didn't know you were, you were going to read it like that too. So thank you for that. So belongs to Julie is in London. And now let's take a look at this, this one a very slight change. What do you see different in these sentences? Let's listen to Reina. What do you see different here from the previous ones? Are they exactly the same or do they change in a, in a way? Mm, I see that I, well, that I'm using which and that, and I guess that is 
Like the same, I guess. Like the same, okay. Yes, in a way they are like the same relative clauses, but there is a slight difference. Who can tell me what the difference is? I know you know this, I know, come on, tell me what's the difference between this sentence and the previous one. And yesterday we kind of talked about this. The well, sentence. Yes, the, the question is, uh, what is the difference in the structure from these sentences and the previous one? Because both sentences are relative clauses, but then there is a slight difference. What's the difference? Can I show you the, the first? The, the difference is in the the first one are subject clauses, and in this case are object clause. Good. Thank you so much, Effer. Yeah, we have here, and the structure changes a little bit, right? After the, the relative pronoun, we are using a subject. And in the previous one, we don't have a subject because the, the who or that is the subject part of the subject. So that's the only difference, you see? After that, after which, after that we have subject I, subject Lucy, subject I, subject Jill, subject I, again, she and my brother and my grandmother. Now, let me erase this and let me go back to the other one we have here. And this is the previous one I showed you. So you see this one, previous one? and then boom, we have the main verb. In this case, we have a model. Uh, that or who and then verb to be at once. That are right. There's no subject after the relative uh, pronoun. That's the difference. And as like Jefferson said, Jefferson said, he said, we have it as part of the object of the sentence. So let's go over this one. Let's read it once again. Jose, you start this time. Number one, please. Number one, Jose. Oh, sorry. She loves the chocolate which I bought. She loves the chocolates that I bought. Good, thank you so much. Ne next one, and Reina. We went to the village which Lucy recommended. We went to the village that Lucy recommended. Thank you so much, Gustavo, please read the next one. Number three. You know, meet a woman who or that I have been to school with. Thank you so much. Being part of the object. Good. Joel, number four. Number four, the police arrested a man who that Jill worked with. Awesome. Thank you so much. Next one, Jeffer, five, please. The bike which or that I loved was stolen. Mm -hmm. Emma, number six. The university which she liked is famous. Awesome. And Genaro, number seven. Wendy, number seven. Uh, Genaro, who, Genaro, go ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. The woman who that my brother loves is from Mexico. Good, and we finish Wendy, please. Last one. The doctor who my grandmother liked lives in New York. Thank the you so much. The doctor that my, oh. gran my grandmother liked lives in New York. Thank you so much. Sorry for the interaction once again. Okay, so I'm gonna give you two minutes and please do me a favor. Create one from uh, as an object and one as a subject and send it to the chat. And then we're gonna close this topic in because I want to make sure we have this idea, you know, maybe clear or it's understandable. So please take two minutes, send them on the chat, one as an object and one as a subject. And that's gonna be it. two minutes. Come on, go ahead, please.
good. I have first one. She watches the movie that I recommended. Great. I like it, Gustavo. So that's the, uh, as an object, right? That I recommended. The movie, exactly. He loves candy bars that I brought. Good. This is object, relative clauses. And what about the other ones? I'll give you two more minutes. Send your examples. Can you show for a moment the this slide uh, about object? Mm -hmm. Sure. The last. This is the last one. Slide. The one I'm sharing is about objects. And a subject is the previous one, which we don't have a subject. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, you can see, this is the previous one. Not the previous one. Yeah, I just change it. Look. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, that's that. But, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And we have some other examples. She, my friend plays, Francisco plays. My friend plays the game that I gave, that I gave. Mm -hmm. Very good, I like it. Francisco, what is your, what is your other last name? Mancilla, what's your other last name? Um, Rauda. Okay. All right, because I have a friend of mine who I haven't seen. This is, a, this is a relative close, who I haven't seen for a while. His name is Francisco Alexander, but I think he's Mancilla, but he's Arevalo. <laughs> you see, no, no. just that simple. <laughs> well, it's not that simple last name. Well, um, that's why I wanted to know. And he likes anime. And you have an anime <laughs> profile picture. So I thought it was you. All right. So let's see. I ate my food that I brought yesterday. Uh -huh. My friend did the homework that I told. You see, awesome, I like it. Being This is working as the object, right? Not as a subject. Good, guys, thank you to, to those who already shared it. And we have this last idea today. Because we, let's see, I want to read the ones that are here. The, can, the phone that has the cell phone that has the camera, the cell phone that has the best camera. Hmm. Hmm, now this is adding more info about the subject, okay? This cell phone, okay? The shoes in the cell, in the cells which you saw in blue are finished, yeah? The man who, the man who came yesterday is my dad. Uh, you are adding the clothes in who? Adding more info about the subject man, okay? I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Evelyn. You sent it privately. Thank you so much. All right, subject clause. I prefer the books that you that you can bring with you. That you can bring with you. Object clause. Uh, hold on. The storybook that I think the first one needs to be double checked, Jeffer. Uh, I prefer the book that. Hmm, because after that you have you and that might change the idea. And then the second one is, is okay because the story that I read was interesting. You have the structure, but in the first one, it's like you're using the, the subject you. That's why it gets it a little bit more confusing. I prefer the books that, um, and then you add info about the book. Teacher, that, I was thinking that the original, the original clause was, I prefer the book and mm -hmm. then you can bring it with you. Uh, I delete the it 
is it okay or is well i i prefer the book and the second sentence is and the second is that you can bring bring it with you i delete the it right but then if you say that you can bring uh, but if less if that's the point you need to think about the two sentences without saying that so i prefer the books and then the second sentence is you can bring you can bring it you can bring it or you can bring the book right so that would be i prefer the books um that you can bring mm -hmm. but then i see something different than when you send it let me see i prefer the book that you can that, that, that you can bring with you. I think that with you, it sounds like kind of redundant. So I prefer the books that you can bring. That, that's it. But then with you is like kind of like redundant because it's, it's obvious that the, you are the one who's bringing them. So let's, let's only say, Jeffrey, I prefer the books that you can bring. And then with you, let's delete it. Maybe that's that's why it sounds a little bit redundant, but without with you sounds good. It's understandable. So okay. let's, mm -hmm. oh right, let's do this, guys. We uh, we have like five more minutes. He has a cousin who is a teacher. Yes, so that's a really good one. Now, this is the next idea. This is, I don't know if you have seen it, but then if you haven't, uh, well, this is I uh, this is the one. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about adverbial clauses. And well, that's the name of this, but then we're just going to focus on how to create clauses with it and with when. That's the main key. So how do we use it? This is what we care about, guys. This is the, the structure. Subject, verb, it, and then we use when, subject, verb again. Like the example, I like it when someone gives me a compliment. I like it when you add a second sentence. This is a new topic and maybe you want to write this down, only the formula, and then try to create one um, sentence with this structure, with it and then when. That's basically the way it works, okay? so. Um, in the part which is the adverbial clause is a situation, okay? That's why it's an adverbial clause. It's a situation that you want to add from for the previous statement or clause given. So I like it when, I like it when, you can change this. You have other expressions suggested on the video. And I want to just mention them because this is going to be tomorrow discussion. And this, I, I screenshot them. These are the ones to make positive. We say, I like it. I love it. Neutral, I don't mind it. Maybe when you don't like the idea, I don't like it or I can't stand it. And then we add a, sink, a second sentence with, uh, with when. Ah, we have the first example. Jose is on fire. I love it when you take when you take the advice. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good. I like I like this one. I love it when you take the advice. I love it when you follow my my advice. Okay, really good. So tomorrow we're gonna have some more time to discuss this topic. And being honest, this is a very common um topic and it's very useful that we can have in our daily uh, basic, basis conversations. So think about other examples on your own, write this uh, structure down as of now, and tomorrow we are going to brainstorm some other ideas about these uh, clauses, okay? It and when. Maybe uh, based on this briefly explanation or maybe based on this structure and this example, you can give it a shot. Just go ahead and try to try to create one and send it as as Jose just did. We only have like two more minutes. I remember the song. I love it when you call me Senorita. That song is a really good one. <laughs> and I love it because what Jose said, I love it. When and then subject and verb. 
Uh -huh. What ideas do you have in mind? You can, you can say one more minute, maybe you can open your mic and, and say it. Uh -huh. I hate it when someone tells me lies. That's another good one. You see, I like these ideas, Francisco, because you are not only thinking in the creation I'm just giving you. You're just thinking and creating your own ideas. I hate it when someone tells me lies. Mm -hmm. All right, keep, keep sending your ideas or maybe one more, and then we're going to call it at night. Like this. And we have one from Evelyn. Oh, one from Well. I hate it when people step me. <laughs> And step, and step on me right on the bus. Okay. I love it when someone gives me a gift for, you, for a birthday, right? All right. I think this topic, uh, if we follow the formula to create our examples, our ideas, you know, it's not that difficult to complete. So we talk about it tomorrow, guys. And thank you so much for your participation. I really appreciate that. Uh, take care. Try to rest and see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. See you. Bye bye. See you. See you tomorrow. Nice.